looks like there might be two ways to go. There's the main one, which is just down the center, straight up. And then also right there, kind of like in that shell, it sort of looks like there's a lip there that you could maybe get onto. Let's go. Rest for a second. Whew. More patience. Yes, yes, yes. Take me here. I know there's something here. I knew it. The sound of all of this life. How an amazing sight. This music's wonderful too. This is cool. Different formation from anyone we've experienced before. It's sort of like crack climbing? Kinda? I mean, we're in a crack, but we're not actually, like, doing any crack climbing techniques. This is 
such an epic climb. Oh, we're fine, we're fine. Yes. Logbook, 12 octaves and two thirds after the Jusant. Warning, this journal entry will definitely be too long, but I have so much to say. I got to see Emma again. I'm so glad I got to drop anchor at her hut. We made up for the lost time in the blink of an eye. I almost capsized when I heard her laugh again. I'd missed it that much. She started by grumbling about something before shrugging and changing the subject, just like old times. I found myself chatting, chattering endlessly. The words flooded out of me. I told her everything, from my parents getting ready to pack up and go to our theories about water in the clouds. Everything got all jumbled up and I could tell my chatter made no sense, but she nodded as though she'd never heard anything more profound. It was about then that I realized the whole team was gawking at us with round fish eyes. Oops. How long had I been standing there talking to M.A. right in front of them? Hadn't even set my pack down yet. It was so awkward. M.A. gave a frown and barked orders at the assembled group. There was hardtack to prepare for everyone at the hut and mattresses to air out. Plus the salt the wind had blown into the corners. Everyone sprang up and got to work without another word. M.A.'s one tough cookie, that's for sure. Plus, she was armed with a wooden spoon that was she was brandishing wildly. The pot was soon set to heat in the sun while Sol swept the floor and Arlo scraped the plates. Emma gave me a wink and I laughed harder than I had in ages. Later on, with our stomachs full and feet bandaged, Emma told us the stories she heard from travelers who stopped by her hut. One of them grabbed my attention. The legend of the Piper, a musician of old. He was said to travel from region to region with his flute to make it rain. I'd never heard tell of it back home, but Arlo and Becca had. Where they're from, they say he'd celebrate the rain's arrival rather than making it rain. When comes the water, dances the piper. I'm writing to keep my hands occupied, but I can't settle down, as though staying busy will delay our departure. I've already rewound all my rope and checked on my pack. I brought way too many things aboard. And in this heat... Besides, maybe I don't need these three teapots or my favorite flower pots after all. I couldn't just leave them behind, but I know I can't go on like this. I'm entrusting them to you, M.A. I hope they bring you as much comfort as they've brought me. Hope to see you again one day. I'm your crewmate, always, Bianca. Hi, bye. Whew. That was a heck of a jump. I wonder if I'm going to be able to grab these mine guards and move them around. They feel like they should be grabbable. It feels like it's going to be a thing. What's our goal? Over there. We know each other. Our parents know each other. I see your suffering. 
We're doing our best to divide the little water we have left here between us. The largest farms have been given priority. They use the most water, since they feed the most people. I agree with what you say about needing to change the way we do things. We can't go on like this. It's not sustainable for you. You don't stand a chance compared to the big guys. We should convince them to share. Pool our resources. Do you think that's possible? I'm not sending you water, but I am sending you courage. Joe. There's something up here. I guess not. even bothered planting anything. What's the use? Breaks my heart to see the crops dying on the vine one by one and being powerless to stop it. I've fought the sun long enough. I'd rather quit now than break my back for nothing. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Leave the farm, probably? Finally pay you a visit, maybe? Is the little one already climbing? To think that I still haven't met her yet. Maybe throwing in the towel isn't such a bad thing after all. Oh no, I'm sorry. What an awful situation you're in. But yes, come for a visit. We'll gladly make room. The little one just started preschool. Can you believe it? She's growing so fast. She's incredible. You'll see. With each passing sleep, she learns something new. When I'm with her, I feel like I'm rediscovering the world around me. She gives me hope again. I should warn you, though. She can be a handful. Wondering if I can get up to any of these things. What's climbable? Okay, let's try to get across here. Cool, that's not looking good. What about that building down there? I bet I could get to it. Yeah, can I do it from here? Oh, I'm almost out of rope. Yeah, this is all the rope I can get. 
Okay, so that's not going to work. But I should be able to... Oh, I should be able to do it from here. Actually, do I have to go there? Mm. No, I don't think so. Yeah, I can just repel there. Oh, looks like there's even a pathway. That's probably more for getting back up. I took a lot of my stamina. And all my batons. Have you seen the latest posters? The ones they say to eat more salt to quench your thirst. Together, let's save water. Salt your food. Water saved today is water drunk tomorrow. It made me think of you. They're taking it too far. We're supposed to drink less while they use up all the water in the Great Basin to water those sun-scorched fields of theirs? Yeah, I saw. Every little bit counts. Honestly, have they got no shame? It's always the same with them but it's sure working out well for the store. I've never seen so many customers, even though most of the villages are already abandoned. I'm running low on pickleweed, hearth salt, and rock salt. I'm even out of plain flakes, though they're pretty bland and not what I'd recommend. At this rate, I'm going to have to start selling my personal stash.
Oh, that's not gonna work. Oh, but we got some permanent ones that are in the shade. I think as you hold on to them, they start to get tired. You gotta... Ooh, you gotta switch to another one. Poor little guys. bonus stuff over there. Where's that where I'm supposed to go? Well, we're leaving the tower. The village has been given a date. I can't quite believe it. I still think about our dance. The last festival already seems so long ago. It was so nice to forget about all this for a sleep. I didn't realize it at the time, but I think at some point... I'd given up. But then, your laughter. The dizziness after that long waltz. The way you stepped on my feet. The way your cheeks glowed pink. I don't know how to ask you this, but... Want to come with me? Journey through life on the same pebble. I'm sorry, I know it's short notice. But now I care enough to be... I care enough to be afraid. Afraid of what I could miss out on if I don't send you this message. I hope you get it. Keely. Well, that goes somewhere. It's hard to tell what the critical path is, but I think that's the critical path. Because that seems to go up. This just goes sideways. Have I actually been down there? I mean, I know I've been there, though, like, where that ship is. A couple levels down, but this kind of upper level that's just below me. Have I actually been there? I'm not actually sure that I have. Oh, there's stairs. Oh, this is so pretty. God, look at these carvings.
looks like they're trying to push the creature back over. It's fallen on its back. What's down here? So these were animal pens. You know what? Raising pebbles was fun. Until I started doing it for a living. I think I've lost my way. You know me, I wasn't really thinking ahead when I took over the old farm. I couldn't just abandon the pebbles my parents cared for all their lives. Sure, I never dreamed of delivering the mail, but kept the animals fed and my debts paid. I kept my noggin above water, like they say around your parts. But since the villages have been uprooted, it's been so hard. Too few people on the cliffs and too much distance to cover. I'm wearing myself and my animals out, and I'm getting nothing but crumbs. I can't go on like this. I remember when we first met. It seems so long ago now. I'd run away from the farm. Remember how mad my dad was? That was quite something. But I just couldn't deal with the sun anymore. Now look where I've ended up. I miss our belly laughs. I even miss the tunnels. Tommy, thanks for your letter. Things aren't any better here. I've made zero progress on my mending. I've spent ages working on this hideous piece of embroidery because I'd rather watch rocks erode. Were you able to sort through your parents' stuff like you wanted? The poor things never got to enjoy them. All they did was work. Is that what'll happen to us too? We could both decide to opt out. The world would keep on turning. Well, keep on not turning. You get the idea. Take care. Logbook, 12 octaves and 3 fourths after the Jusant. We make quite an odd team. Eccentrics, hardliners, optimists, turn with the tides. I've never seen such different kinds of people working towards a common goal. Well, sort of. I'm not so sure I'm on the same page as the others anymore. I've realized that the people around me have nets and harpoons, knives. They want to capture the ballasts. 
I was sure we'd set off on this adventure to prove they were real, that we were going to study them, figure out how they were linked to the rain's disappearance, solve the mystery of the Piper. Now I hope those creatures only exist in stories, because this expedition is starting to look like a hunting party. I feel so stupid for not seeing it before. Bianca. Oh no. Okay, now I think we've explored that all. I already read that, didn't I? Yeah. Oh, that's for us to continue upwards. I don't get what the deal is with parents and the ocean. It's all they talk about. We have to explore the Great Plain, go further, cross the oceanic ridges, find the ocean, blah blah blah. Fine, set sail for the desert if you want, but why should I have to come along too? They're getting on my nerves. Honestly, I'm kind of scared. I bet I'll get dizzy. Walking? Horizontally? Nope. No thanks. Not for me. Oh, so that's it, Nil? You're leaving? I wouldn't mind going off on an expedition instead of marinating in this old place. It's so boring here, you have no idea. I can't take it anymore. If I have to roast, at least let me roast in the desert where things are happening. Plus, what if you found a spring? You'd be famous. So these, like, bulbous things that we keep seeing on the edges... These are some sort of mailing system. Because we found messages, now we found one in the side, in these little capsules. But we've also seen messages quite commonly here, and this looks like... Maybe where they pop out or something. So there's some sort of mailing station. I wonder... Oh, there's a bunch of pipes. Underneath. Yeah. I think it's just like a air... Like a pneumatic tube kind of message delivery system or something. Oh, 
That's really cool. Breaking the railing. Is there something down there? Nah, it's nothing. Oh, that just heads back down. The other sleep. Rose asked me to tell him a bedtime story. He's getting to be a big boy now. But I love it when I can still pretend he's little. I decided to tell him the tale of the long rain. I told him about the overflowing canals high tide, the locks, and so on. But eventually he stopped me because he didn't understand. He didn't know what rain was. I'm starting to doubt myself. We both agree that it's not just some tale our elders made up. It did exist, right? Hey, I think it did, yeah. But to be honest, I see where your kid's coming from. Water falling from the sky does sound pretty odd. I wouldn't be surprised if the old folks had made it all up and are having a good laugh at us all up there. God, imagine rain sounding like a myth. What a scary thought. Is that it for this side? We went up and up. I think that's it. Let's go over. Now we can go up there, but also there's this. Where does that lead to? Is this just like kind of a shortcut? I guess so.
What is that? Oh my god. Oh, it's another one of these great machines. It looks like a radar dish, doesn't it? I guess I'm the piper, huh? Well, hello there. That's a biggin. Chapter 4, Convergence. Well, I think I'm going to save Chapter 4 for the next episode. By the way, I should plug this more often because I basically never do, but did you know I have a Patreon where I post exclusive playthroughs? If you're interested, link is in the description. And yeah, hope you've enjoyed so far. See you on the next episode.